Jim, just your reaction on that one? Pleased with the result, obviously. Um, you know, especially the reaction to, to going a goal behind. I, I didn't feel that we deserved to go behind at that particular moment. Uh, something for us to look back on. I, I, I thought we looked a little bit unorganised um, at that particular moment. We ended up with a, a 3v2 out in our, in our right side. Um, and in fairness to Queen's Park, they worked the overload very well. You know, it's, it's a ball across the face that nine times out of ten Jack Walton deals with, but uh, unfortunately, you know, it's a mistake, and Jack is uh, the first person to come in at half time and hold his hands up and apologise. But he, you know, he doesn't need to apologise because he's been exceptional all season, and I think every goalkeeper is entitled to make one mistake um, in a campaign. So, just really pleased for uh, for Jack that the players showed a positive reaction and that that goal that we concede. Uh, isn't costly, and um, you know I have to give credit to the fans as well because um, you know they stuck with us even though we had went that goal behind. I thought the reaction from them was a really positive one, encouraging the players, and um, they've got a big role to play. You know between now and the end of the season, and uh, we're very appreciative of the fact that they turn up here to watch us. Um, you know it, today wasn't. The perfect performance in terms of um, our overall play, I thought it was too slow in the first half. We needed a bit more pace and a bit more tempo in the game. We needed to play forward a little bit earlier, and that was the instruction at half time, just to you know get the ball forward that little bit quicker, get up on second balls, and try and play the game in the opposition's half. And um, I thought the players, you know, done that really, really well. And um, yeah, it was a comfortable win in the end. I felt. Louis Moult's free kick comes at a, a really important time because it, it just doesn't allow the, the frustration in the stadium to boil into the, the second half and then obviously Tilly pops up one as well. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it was a, you know, a really good free kick, first and foremost, from, from Louis. A real, you know, that's not an easy uh, thing to do, you know, that close to goal to get it up and over the wall into the top corner. It was you know, brilliant from him, but I think the initial play was really positive in order to win that free kick, first and foremost. But um, yeah, it was great to get back, level pegging, and and then um, you know set plays was something that we felt we carried a big threat with today. You know, Queens Park have conceded a number of goals from corners and um, and crosses from open play, and you know it was certainly an area that we tried to we tried to target. And uh, I thought the delivery from Miller Thompson was excellent. You know, we wanted to hit that back area. Kevin Holt spins out into that area and heads it back across. Tony has the effort, and you know, delighted for Tilly to be there in the right place to. To head at home, that gives us the lead at half time. We can get the instructions into the players that we need to improve on. I thought we could have utilised our full backs a bit better in the wide areas. You know, the middle of the park was very congested. Um, it wasn't, you know, possible to get good service into our strikers given um, the positioning of the opposition. So I thought we had to use our our full backs a little bit better, and I think we've done that in the second half. Obviously, one of the main talking points before the game, four changes to the side. Was that based on how Queen's Park were going to set up or was it just rotating the squad considering how many games we've got in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, a little bit of everything, to be honest. Um, you know, we've got a very good squad, a lot of competition for places and, you know, sometimes changes are made within the team uh, for tactical reasons and that was purely what it was today. You know, we wanted Weatherspoon and Kujo to... Uh, cause Queen's Park problems in the pockets in between the lines and I thought we'd done that in the opening six or seven minutes and then unfortunately Spoonie gets that injury and I thought that that kind of disrupted things a little bit thereafter for the next five minutes. Um, yeah but I mean nobody came out of the the team from the Wraith game you know due to performance I thought the performance was really good at Wraith but you know we uh, we made one or two tactical decisions um, you know Miller Thompson coming in there at right back I thought he'd done really well um, you know, considering playing in a big stadium with the with the big crowd, I thought he handled the occasion particularly well. He'll take plenty of learnings from that, and when we analyse the game back, I think he'll improve for that experience, and he's, he's deserved his opportunity. Um, and yeah, I mean Ross Graham, the other one, I suppose, who you know can feel very hard done by for coming out of the team, but um, you know the reasoning behind that, Gallagher and Holt had struck up the best defensive partnership in the league prior to Gal's injury. Um, you know, Gal had played 17 games in the league, we'd conceded seven goals, and then I don't think it's any coincidence he goes out of the team for six and we concede six goals. And none of them, you know, I'm not pointing the finger uh, solely at Ross Graham uh, by any stretch because Ross Graham has been outstanding for the last four games that he's been involved in. But, you know, Declan Gallagher's experience is key to this team, to the back line. He brings a reassurance and a little bit of calmness to it. And he's a player who's been involved in these promotion pushes from the championship with 
other teams. He know what it, he know, knows what it takes, and um, and that was purely the reason behind that decision. So we've got a great squad. Starting eleven today will possibly change again for Tuesday, um, and it could likely change again for the following weekend. And it's my job as manager to try and keep players fresh and um, you know to pick a team that I think is capable of going and winning the game. Just touching on Miller, he's a, a really good example of the, the loan system being successful. He had a, a really good spell with Montrose earlier on. Uh, yeah, I mean, the loan system is something I'm a big advocate of. I, I think it's important for these players to go out and experience playing senior football. Um, and Miller had a fantastic first half of the season at Montrose. You know, he can play a number of positions as well, Miller. A lot of his loan spell there was in the midfield, but... Um, you know, I think he's got the makings of a really good right back. You know, he's still got a bit of filling out to do physically, but in terms of his overall um, positioning defensively, one v ones, he's exceptional. Nobody ever gets the better of him. He's got real quality when we're trying to play forward and being the kind of team we are, where we have you know the majority of possession in games. You know, we need players that can handle the ball in those areas, and Miller certainly can do that. And I think you see. The quality that he brings from dead ball situations as well. You know, his delivery for the second goal was brilliant, uh, right into that area that we wanted to target. And you know, even in the second half, we have another corner that I think Declan Gallagher gets the flick at the near post, and we we end up hitting the back post, and unfortunate not to go in. So, um, yeah, Miller is uh, a player that's got lots of potential. Um, I think you know, as manager, you know, how are you ever going to find out if these players are ready? if you don't give them the opportunity to play first-team football. And I think that's something that I've tried to do throughout the course of the campaign with the likes of um, Fotheringham and you know starting us played a couple of games, Archie Mikasin obviously, Chris Mockery had a great loan spell last season with Dunfermline. And Miller's another one now that the uh, the academy coaches can take a lot of credit for because he's um, he's trained really well the last couple of months with us and has fully deserved his place in the team today. Just finally, we've had a, a couple of home games without a win, so did you feel it was important to, to get that monkey off our back before another big one on Tuesday? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, our, our away record is, has been um, exceptional all season and obviously only having our first defeat uh, on the road uh, last week against Wraith. Um, we need to pick up more points at home. You know, that's what we all feel as a group. And, you know, that's what I was saying at the start, that that's where the fans can play uh, a real key role because... You know, I remember when I used to come here myself with St Mirren many years ago. Um, you know, the talk was always first 15, 20 minutes. Let's try and quieten the crowd. Let's try and you know make them frustrated. And we can't allow opposition teams to do that to us as you know players on the park, but also as supporters in the stand. You know, we need to. If we don't get that goal in the first 15, 20 minutes, it's not a, a disaster. It's not a crisis. But we really need them to. Stay with us. They've played a huge part up to now. Um, you know, we really do appreciate them, and they, uh, you know, they hopefully they understand the difference that they can make by encouraging the players, particularly those younger ones, because they need all of that.